As we kickstart today's investiture ceremony, let us all reaffirm our commitment to uphold the values of integrity, excellence and respect that define our school. Let this ceremony serve as an inspiration for all of us to strive for excellence in all our future endeavours with pride and determination and to work together towards a brighter future for our school and the community. So the year is always a very special when it starts with the investor ceremony. Yes. So being leaders is not a very easy task, I have to say, because you are responsible for everything. Today, I will say you one small information about this. These five fingers always teach us a lesson. You know what is that? It strongly teaches us. We say we have inspiration outside, we see them, we see. Everything is here. What is that? I will always say, this is your education. So normally you would have thought this is education. No. This is the education. And you know, this finger points out to the challenges. That's the reason why we always wear ring for it. Every challenge that we overcome successfully, this ring says you have won your life. That's the reason why this ring finger has so much of value. The tall finger is your skill. If you bring out your skill, you are known to the world. If you don't bring out your skill and talent, you are one among that, what you have. So what is this? What is this? Challenges that daily from morning to evening what you Go through. And what is this? What is called skills? What is called skills, children? Your talent. Be it sports, be it drama, be it dance, be it singing, be it art, be it comedy, be it anything, be it craft. That skill is very important in everybody. Okay, now what is that ma'am going to talk about this? We all possess one character. Point your finger. Even though we are responsible for everything, we fail to think that and we say this. Why did you get less marks in max? My max teacher didn't teach me max. But you will not understand in the same class there will be a child who is getting 100 out of 100. So why do we put ourselves, we put ourselves along with a child who has got zero. And you compromise and say, there are four zeros in my class where at least I try to get four. But you have failed to focus on these three areas. So ultimately, this finger says, when you point somebody, you don't know that everything is within you. You have failed to understand who you are and you simply 
point out to somebody. Don't do that. But one thing, what is this finger saying is, if everything is with you, you always face success. This is what these five fingers strongly talk to you. But we never bother about it. So this is the story of these five fingers that is very united and they always do a teamwork. Just imagine if these two fingers, they don't help you to write properly, you get scolding. If you don't complete on time, you get scolding. So it doesn't mean that when somebody scolds you, they are totally disturbing you. No. They are trying to pull you out of your weakness and make you strong. That is what this challenge finger always teaches you. But what do we do? Mama going home and saying, Mama, my teacher scolded, my teacher punished. Today, we are all very strong. You know why? Because the teachers who are called the second parents, they desperately owned us. You know how they owned us? To correct us, they scolded us, they punished us, they groomed us well, where we didn't feel that they are scolding us because of hatred. They scolded us so we can grow better. I hope so every child understands this philosophy behind. Even if a teacher scolds, go immediately go to the teacher and say the word sorry and ask him, can I get the clear explanation why I've been scolded, where I can correct myself. See, when things go on very easily, you will not know whether you are valued or not. That's what I always say. If your parents scold, you feel happy that you have got the right parents. If your parents does not scold, you ask them whether I am perfect. For which I have not been scolded. But if you are not perfect, but still your parents think that we, time will change you, please change. You change. So this is what is my humble advice for today's investor ceremony. And I know that all the leaders would have got or could have observed everything inside. What you have observed, apply it and see the change. I don't want to see the leaders only with a batch. I want to see the leaders with the responsibility. Morning to our honorable correspondent, ma'am, Dr. Mani Megli Mohan, Secretary Sir, Mr. Mohan Das, respected principals, teachers, and my fellow students. Today marks a significant day in my life as I stand before you as your school pupil leader. I am so excited to tell you that I've been wanting to be here just because all of my other seniors have been there for me, and I want to be there for all of you. Today is a very important day in my life as I stand before you and express my gratitude towards everything and everyone that has voted for me and I've been elected. Now, I would really like to thank my principal today because without her, none of this would have been possible and the administrative team, of course, because their unwavering support has been throughout with me and my fellow students all these for all these years. Now, I would also like to thank all of my teachers because they have shaped and molded all of us, all of us for the individuals that we are today. And I would really like to thank all my family members and my friends because my mom especially is the one who has been throughout with me. She has helped me prepare for everything in life and she stood beside me every single walk of my life. Now, as we stand here, as your elected council and you put all your faith, all your trust to us. I really want you to know that you are all in wonderful hands and that we will lead you by example and the choice you've made will not go in vain. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs>